All right, so we are looking at the Tizian polygon method of rainfall estimation. So this is how point rain gauges are used to estimate or calculate for the rainfall for a given area. So to start with, we look at when we are given two gauges. And when we are given two gauges, we are going to do the drawing ourselves. And that drawing, we are going to do the drawing on the graphs that you, you may be given. But we, we have to first of all, show how the drawings are done here. So when we are given two gauges, two gauges, two gauges, or two point gauges, this is how the drawing goes. First of all, we have a point gauge A, then another point gauge B. So first of all, we have to connect the dotted line between the two gauges. Then we draw something like a circle, but more, not all that a circle towards our region. Then we try to find the perpendicular bisector of between the two point gauges. So here we can see that the perpendicular bisector will be in the middle. So then we draw a straight line towards it. Follow me. So the straight line will separate region A from region B. So this region A is the region for gauge A and region B becomes the region for gauge B. So when we want to find the average precipitation in the question from this part through to this part becomes region B. Then from this part through to this part becomes region A. So we have maybe the rainfall to be 17 inches 17 inches for region a then here will be maybe 18 inches Jimabe. 17 inches to 18 inches then we have area area a area for the whole this a whole area becomes area A. And this whole area, the shaded region for portion D becomes area B. So in the question, maybe area A will be given. Maybe area A will be given in the question or area B will be given in the question. But if not given on the graph sheet, when we draw this portion on the graph sheet, there are some portions that are going to take complete boxes. Complete boxes. That complete boxes will be considered as one. Then those that will take more than half of a box will, will also be considered as one. So that one I will explain with the graphs. So let's continue. So assuming region A is given as 15 centimeters squared. Then area A, sorry, is given as 15 centimeters squared, and area B is given as maybe 12 centimeters squared. Then we have to find the average precipitation between the two gauges. We have precipitation average is equal to the precipitation at point A, that is P1, then times the area at A plus precipitation at this point, point B, sorry, this is point A, then this point B times the area at B, yes, area at A, sorry, I think area at A, and area at B, divided by the area at A plus the area at B. So in the question given, we are going to get something like, Precipitation at this area is 17 inches times the area at B, which is 15 centimeters squared, plus the precipitation here, 18 inches, times the area at that area, 12 centimeters squared, all divided by 15 centimeters squared, plus 12 centimeters squared so jima right. so let's look at our calculation
So let us look at the arithmetic so inches, for inches, the units. Inches squared. Three times. Eh? So let's look at it. So the, for the units, let's look at 17 inches times. Centimeter squared will be the unit. 17 inches. Uh, inches, uh, inches centimeter squared will be the unit for the upper one. Then the lower one will also be centimeter squared. Yeah. So this one will cancel this, and the final one will be left with inches. Boom. This one is plus. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And this one too is plus. This time this. Okay. And this time it. Then I'm ah, going okay. add. So the rainfall will be given in what? Inches. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. The rainfall will be given in millimeters. Millimeters. So if you get something like maybe okay, I'll do that in the next example. Yeah. So this is how the first calculation goes for the two gauges. So in the next video, I'll be using the other unit so that with time we can look at the conversions between the inches and what the millimeters. So this is how two gauges are done. Right. So we are also going to look at three gauges. So when it comes to three gauges, we we'll draw a point gauge one, gauge two, then maybe gauge three. So you just connect the points together. They are simple. And you draw something like a circle around it. And you find the perpendicular bisectors of the three points. So we can see that the perpendicular bisector between A and B will be found in the middle here. A and C will be found here. Then B and C will also be found here. So you just draw something to this place. This two is fine here. Then this two is fine here. Then you can see a clear cut difference between region A. The question you can be given the rainfall amount here to be maybe 20 millimeters here can be 10 millimeters and here can be 11 millimeters so the area here area can be area a area of a and here can be area of region B. And here can be this whole area can be area of region C. Alright. So if you want to find the precipitation, sometimes area A will be given in the question. But if not given, if you draw area A on your gra uh, graph sheet, all complete boxes or full boxes. Will go for one, one, then more than half of a box will also go for one. So you count all the full boxes as well as the boxes that are more than half, then you combine them to get that particular area. Maybe if you are talking of area A to get area B, then when it comes to area B2, all full boxes based on the scale that has been chosen for you within that, this area if you consider it as one then more than half of a box like this 
uh, more than half or half will also be considered as one. So you count that region within that particular area together, then you get the, your values for the area of A, area of region B, and area of region C. So here, since we are learning it manually, let us assume that when we counted the food bosses for area A, we had maybe five. And when we counted more than half boxes, we had maybe 10. Okay, so let's say the area here was given as maybe five centimeters squared. Then the area here was given as seven centimeters squared. Then the area here was given as eight centimeters squared per the question. Then our P average and our P average will be the precipitation at A times the area at A plus precipitation at B times the area at B plus the precipitation at C times the area at C divided by area A plus area B area of agency so per the question these things are given so we have rainfall to be 20 millimeters times the area the area at a e was five centimeters squared plus region b 10 millimeters times seven centimeters squared plus region c that is 11 millimeters times times 8 centimeters squared divided by 5 centimeters squared plus 7 centimeters squared plus 8 centimeters squared which is going to be 258 millimeters centimeters squared divided by 20 20 centimeters squared so we can see that this can cancel this which is going to be 12.9 millimeters okay so concerning the calculation there can be a conversion between you can be told to do a conversion between inches and what millimeters as given in the question so when you are you are about when you are told to do conversion between inches and millimeters so you use the conversion values one inch one inch is equal to 25.4 millimeters then when you are also to, to convert between inches and what uh, centimeters we have one inch sorry one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters so these are the conversions between inches and what centimeters likewise you can also be told to convert between centimeters and kilometers for the area when you want to do a conversion between centimeters and kilometers we have thousand hundred thousand centimeters is equal to one kilometer so one times ten raised to the power ten centimeter squared is equal to one kilometer squared so then centimeters to meters 100 centimeter is equal to one meter and this will be any. so these are the conversions so you have to be better in doing these things when when you are going to do it in centimeters with millimeters, you know how to go about it. Kilometers squared with uh, inches, you know how to go about it. 
So these are the conversions. Thank you.